Hi YouTubers, I wanted to comment on this video, White Working Class and Ignored. I felt very sad after watching this video because I too was raised in a working class family in those type of circumstances, being white working class. Whether it is so much worse in this country nowadays because one is white and working class, I would say is debatable. I believe the critical point about this topic is that young people are coming out of school with not the right qualifications for which they can get jobs. I know there aren't many jobs available now, but it's them not having the wherewithal to know how to get them. They might, might financially not be able to um, get themselves sorted out or you know, educationally, they haven't got the qualifications. When I was young, my family was what might now be termed mixed nationality. My father was English, my mother was Italian, and I grew up just after the war when there was prejudice against Italians, particularly because they had been on the other side. There was also a dislike of Italians because they were seen to have changed sides. <laughs> Other friends of mine, you know, Polish, Irish children had similar problems. In a way, this made me stronger anyway, because I had to stand up against an amount of prejudice, nothing in comparison to what black people have been through. But in those days, even your accent was seen as detrimental to getting a good job. And nowadays, that's no longer the case. There's still, I believe, class prejudice. I was lucky because my father was always in work. He was the sole breadwinner doing such jobs as driving, labouring, painting and decorating and mastic work on high buildings. Later in his life he travelled abroad to Denmark as part of his job for a few weeks and it gave us all an insight into another culture and another world. My mother's family lived in Rome and we couldn't get to visit but once when I was a teenager we had one wonderful holiday um, lasting a whole month when we all travelled there in an old Ford Thames van across the Alps. This was an amazing adventure and it gave me a sense that if one really wanted something badly enough, anything could be achieved. We had very little money and my father had to adapt the vehicle when it was running out of petrol going up the San Gotthard Pass. My mother was thrifty, she would always make our clothes and um, mend and how she would save. We had little but we had a lot of love. I know I was lucky because I lived in a town where most of my father's relatives still live to this day and I feel this gave me a sense of solidity and support which would have been very lacking without it. My parents even managed to open a cafe with some money that my mother saved. They took risks and made a good living. We never expected anything from anyone, we never got anything from the state and I believe that Good role models are the most important source of confidence for any child. If you can see your parents working hard, you're likely to want to do the same. But I know I was lucky to have the ability to pass 11 plus and so I got a good standard of education. I was never any good at maths and that left me at a disadvantage. Qualifications do matter. I remember Enoch Powell and his speech of rivers of blood and I remember being frightened and feeling threatened to our simple and hard-working way of life. I remember black people living in our town, all trying to find work, work. And I began even then to understand how difficult it would be for them to get houses and jobs. Life's always competitive. And I realized we as white people had benefited in the past from having an empire but I didn't really understand much. It was only when I began to go to college years later, I understood more, I began to feel guilty. I, exa I understood exactly how much racial prejudice was rife in our society. I had been um, cushioned by being brought up in a small town where little had changed for centuries. I don't think working class people have benefited quarter as much as the rich people, but truly we've all benefited from the way our country has secured cheap commodities from all over the world. 
I know I've been lucky because I was born into a working class family and through education I've improved my chances. This has not happened only at school. I still feel I'm learning all the time and I'm continuing to learn, even now by means of the internet. You know, I believe that education should be free for all of us. My main feeling when I was young was trying to get along with other people and all of us trying to work hard to improve things for the young, be they black or white. I worked as a youth leader and a probation officer and later as a family court welfare officer. My experience has been that young people who haven't had the benefit of education, no matter what their colour or ethnicity, haven't if they haven't got the ed qualifications, they're always going to be left behind in this capitalist society. That is what divides us, the differences in our knowledge. It's vital that our educational system is free for all. There should be massive fee, there should not be massive fees for learning. Education can be delivered by means of a computer. There is no need for kids to go to college. I say make it free on the internet. Whatever we need to learn should be there available for us. I can see how it must seem to some white people that these others, be they black, brown or other ethnic origin, seem to be getting more opportunities than them in today's society. But it's so not so. So not true. Laws have had to be passed to try to stop some of the discrimination which has gone on in the past. But people can get trapped into thinking they can't do anything. And then they look around for other people to blame for their condition. We need to get rid of so much of the bureaucracy and the cost of getting training. There'll always be scapegoats and there'll always be those who feel neglected and downtrodden. What we need to do as a society is work together rather than emphasising our differences. None of us has an entitlement to anything. We're all human. We all have to be given a chance. I see it as starting from the bottom up rather than from the top down. Our children need to be educated to think and provide for themselves rather than being educated simply to conform to a pattern. I hear people saying, why is it that they are all getting the benefits? We're not. But I say, well, why not teach every child useful skills at school rather than getting them to pass academic exams? We need to teach them to sew, to knit, to create art, to make things. We need to look at individuals and see what they're best capable of and then support them to grow. What we need is people working together, not dividing ourselves. If our children get qualifications, they can travel the world. They can forge ahead. Let's get together, please. Thank you for listening. I'm stopping now.